one weekend. Not too long ago, I decided to head to a cafe. Table for one? Yes, please. Unfortunately, we're full at the moment, so you'll have to share a table with someone else. Is that okay? Sure. Then follow me. The table I was led to was across from an extremely beautiful girl. It wasn't just her physical attractiveness. It was her full aura of beautiful vibes. And the more I looked at her, the prettier she became. I was hooked. Of course, I knew I couldn't just stare at her the whole time. So I quickly grabbed a menu. And then... Is this your first time at this cafe? Huh? Don't look around, I'm talking to you. Oh, um, yeah, it's my first time here. Are you hungry? I could eat, I guess. You like sweets? Yeah. Then you gotta try the seasonal tart set here. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, I can't get enough of it. But, are you sure? I haven't ordered anything. Oh, actually, I already had some food earlier. I was just about to finish my drink and leave. Oh, I see. Then I think I'll go ahead and order. Thanks for the wreck. I hope you like it. That was the beginning and ending of our talk. Before my tart even arrived, she had already left. I remember thinking that the way she waved goodbye as she left was really cool. But I had no idea what I was in store for after that. The school was always a buzz here and there after coming back from a weekend. But that day, the place seemed even more noisy than usual. Yukito! Morning. Don't just come here acting like everything's normal. Why were you sitting at the cafe having coffee with Miss Erica? Huh? What are you talking about? Who's Miss Erica? One of her fans posted this picture to their social media and it completely blew up. They're all pissed. Oh, that's the cool girl from yesterday. So it really is you? I guess so. I can't believe it. How'd you get so lucky to be with Miss Erica? Wait, who is this person anyway? Is she famous? You don't know Erika Matsukuru? She's only the star member of the huge pop group canon. Have you been living under a rock or something? I don't listen to that much pop music, but I totally get it. I was starstruck, and I didn't even know who she was. She had that tiny, cute face and such smooth, fair skin, and those long, beautiful eyebrows. Stop rubbing it in! So, you said people were angry? You know how it is with some of those huge agencies. Their members aren't allowed to even be around other guys. I'm sure you heard that much, right? Sure. And yet this dude got a picture of her chatting in a cafe with you? But I don't even know her. I just shared a table with her because it was busy. She didn't even stay the whole time I was there. For real? Obviously. What, you think I have some kind of connection to any kind of famous pop star or something? Well, her fans don't know that. That's the problem. Huh? Who are you? I finally found you. You're Yukito Kokubo, aren't you? Yes. Well, I'm Marina Matsukura, and I need to talk to you. Can you come with me for a second? Wait, Matsukura? You don't know who Marina is either? She's only the most popular girl at school by a country mile. I thought every guy in here knew about her. Well, I don't. She's an upperclassman, right? I don't really know any of them. You need to get out more, man. Well, whatever. I'm more curious about her last name. And her face and vibes are similar to that girl's, too. Yeah, it's exactly what you think. She's Miss Erica's little sister. I followed Marina into an empty classroom. And all she had to do to buy my friend's allegiance and have him act as our watchdog was give him a promo photo of Erica or, or whatever her name was. So you want to talk about me in that picture on social media, right? Exactly. Well, it was all a misunderstanding. I already know that. Eddie told me everything. She said you two are just sharing a table at a crowded cafe. That's right. 
but some of her rabid fans aren't buying it. And now they're attacking her because of how betrayed they feel. That's why I have a request. Will you go out with me instead? What? I said, go out with me. Like, out to a cafe or something? Oh, no. We're not going down that cliched road. I'm talking dates, romance, love, that kind of going out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's this coming from all of a sudden? I don't understand. Do I have to explain everything? If you were my boyfriend, then we could just say that you were asking her what to buy for my birthday or something. Get it? Please, we don't even have to go out for real. Would that even change anything? It would change everything. It's a perfect excuse for a guy to talk to another girl. And not only that, but her sister's boyfriend would naturally want to talk to her about buying me a present on my birthday. If I posted that from my account, I'm 100% sure everyone would stop talking about it. They all know I'm Eddie's sister. I guess I just don't understand why you would go this far in the first place. I'm begging you. This is the only way. Okay, fine. I'll go along with this. But I'm not doing anything weird. Th thank you. Okay, now that we have to go on a bunch of dates together. What? Why? I just said. Look, if people don't see us posting all the time about how we're madly in love with each other and stuff, they're never gonna buy this. But do we really have to go that far? Absolutely. You know what they say in my family? Go big or go home. And you agree to do this? So you can't go back on your word now. Ugh, fine. I'm prepared for the worst. Let's do this. I understand that this is asking a lot, so I'll pay for everything. Don't worry about that, really. Are you sure? Yeah, just make sure your sister doesn't get into any more trouble. Maybe you're a pretty decent guy after all. <laughs> I like you. I don't know about that. Anyone else would do the same thing. I don't know about that. I think you'll make the perfect decoy boyfriend. I'll do what I can, Marina. No, oh, no, you're my boyfriend. Call me a pet name or something. Then, Rina? Hearing that, the girl who was now my fake girlfriend flashed a charming smile. All right. Let's clear my sister's name, babe. Marina, uh, Rina was a woman of her word. She fully committed to the role as my girlfriend. And every weekend, we'd go on dates. For example, one time we went to the movies. Want to watch this one? Sure, that sounds great. <laughs> that was such a sad ending. Sorry for being such a crier. Hey, Rina. You really like your sister a lot, don't you? Huh? Well, I noticed she was one of the stars in that movie. And I don't think that was your first time seeing it either, right? I've seen it ten times now. And you still cry at the ending every time, huh? That's how you know it's good. Another time we went to the zoo. I haven't been to the zoo in a long time. Yeah, I think the last time I came to one of was in elementary school. What's your favorite animal, babe? Hmm... Pandas, maybe? Oh! What about you, Rena? I'm gonna guess lions. That's right! You know me so well! Well, your sister has a kind of lion-like presence to her. So true. She has that regal yet awe-inspiring way of carrying herself, doesn't she? At the mall. We're going to window shop today, okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't appreciate the extra yeah, okay? And don't look so gloomy. That's just my face. No, it's not. I'm not forcing you to do too much, am I? Nah, I'm just out of my comfort zone a little. Aw, it's cute how inexperienced you are, babe. We've already been on so many dates together, though. Well, what do you expect? I never thought I'd suddenly end up in a relationship with someone as amazing and beautiful as you. I'm sure anyone in my position would just be as nervous. Hey, did you just call me amazing and beautiful? Haven't you looked in a mirror? Even your reflection would be jealous of your looks. <laughs> Babe. So, you said window shopping, right? What's that about? Oh, you know, just wandering around. 
Is that fun? You'll see. Come on, let's go. Arena took my hand and started walking. Soon, we ended up in a bookstore. This comic is the best. I already know that. How about this one? Yeah, I like that one too. If you're interested in that type of story, you might like this one. I don't know that one. Ugh, fine. I guess you're more familiar with this than I thought. Let's keep moving. Next, we went to a knick-knack store. Oh, look! Cat ears! When and where would you need to wear something like that? Come on. It's for the culture. They're cute, right? You can admit that much, right? If I said they looked good on you, would you really take that as a compliment? Why not? Of course I would. Then they look really good on you. They really bring out your cuteness. <laughs> What's that smug grin supposed to mean? It means I'm really happy, you goof. We visited the secondhand clothes shop. Of course, we had to do the classic date thing and have a mini fashion show. Well? I like it. Which one do you prefer? This one or the last one I wore? Uh, the other one, I think. Oh, oh I see. So that's what you like, huh? Then I'll wear something like that on our next date for you. Why? Come on. I'm the one making you do all this in the first place, right? The least I could do is give you some fan service for it, right? Rena. Yeah? I really appreciate that. <laughs> You're so honest. Finally, we stopped for coffee. Say cheese! Yep, that should be good for today. Every time we went out together, Rena made sure to snap a selfie of the two of us together. I guess she was uploading them to her socials as proof that we were dating. By the way, is your sister's scandal still blowing up? It's going nicely. Nicely burning, you mean? What? No, the opposite, you doofus. Almost nobody suspects her anymore. Oh, thanks for you doing this, of course. I really owe you one. Don't mention it. By her next concert, it should be done and dusted. If she has the same amount of fans showing up to before, then I'll know it was a success. So, once you made sure of everything... Yeah, you'll be a free agent once again. It was beginning to look like the end of our relationship was fast approaching. Oh, right. I can't forget about our after-school dates. After classes ended, the two of us tried to spend as much time as possible together on our way home. The rest of the students didn't know the full story, so they just assumed like everyone else that we were a normal couple. They would post and talk on their own feeds about us, but we didn't try to dissuade them. In fact, we tried to make our relationship as public as possible in order to fuel the flames so they burn brighter than Erica's scandal. Oh, hey, that's the cafe, right? The one where I first met your sister. Yeah. I've actually never been in there before. Want to see it? Can we? Of course. Then let's go. As soon as we stepped foot inside, Rena jumped in shock. Huh? Aerie? Mari, what are you doing here? I was just stopping by on my way home from school. What about you? I had some free time, so I was getting something sweet. Wait, isn't that guy... Hi, it's been a while. Hey, I'm really sorry about all this. I didn't realize someone would take a picture and make you infamous. And plus, my sister's a hassle, right? No, not at all. I'm having plenty of fun. Really? That's such a relief to hear. I appreciate it. Wait, if you're talking to him now, won't it cause another scandal? Maybe Yuki and I should sit far away. I don't think you have to worry about that. Why not? Because he's your boyfriend, right? Heck, it might be even better if we did get a shot of the three of us together. I'll sit here and the two of you can sit next to each other across from me. It'll be like I'm the big sis meddling in my sister's relationship. It's got a nice ring to it, right? Fine, then you better pay for our drinks and stuff. Obviously. I was already planning to do that, of course. I want to repay all the trouble I caused your boyfriend, too. By the way, how was it? The seasonal tart I recommended. It was really good. 
Well, that's good at least. This time, I think you should get the hot lava cake. Eddie, can I get the fruit sundae? Sure, sure. How about you, Mr. Boyfriend? Um, I think I'll get the lava thingy you mentioned. No problem. Excuse me, can I order? Mm, this is amazing! Really? Great. How's yours, Mr. Boyfriend? It's great. Um, Aerie? What's up? Um, you really don't have to keep calling me her boyfriend. You know the truth about our relationship, don't you? Obviously, but you're using all the same nicknames for me that my little sister uses. Don't you think it's a bit early for that? Huh? I, I didn't mean it like that. I was just playing along since that's what Rena already calls you and everything. <laughs> I know that. I was just teasing you. Wow, Rena. Yeah? Your sister's got such a great personality. Duh, if she didn't, she wouldn't have made it as a celebrity, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, I better skedaddle. I'll pay you two on the way out, so just take your time. Okay, good luck with work! Oh, I can pay for my own. I won't hear it. Don't complain about a free meal. But in return, can you do me a favor? What is it? Here, these are the tickets to my next concert. Come with Mari if you're free. What? I can't accept this. Consider it a challenge. Huh? How so? You're not interested in pop music, right? You hadn't even heard me. Yeah, sorry. So I'm super excited to be able to make a rabid fan out of you then. Don't worry, I'll get you so obsessed you won't forget about Mari. And with that, Aerie left the cafe with a smug grin. Your sister's so cool. Yeah. I totally see why you look up to her so much. Yeah, but that's minus points for you. What are you talking about? We're on a date. I don't want you praising other girls, even if it's my sister. Got it? Got it. Good. Rena went back to happily devouring her Sunday. A pic of us that day was later uploaded to social media. It said that Marina was the one wearing the pants in our relationship. It was finally the day of the Cannon concert, the band that Aerie fronted. Whoa, there's so many people here? Yeah. So, what do you think? About what? Are there less people compared to before? Actually, I think there's more. Hey, see those two over there? The girl is Miss Erika's sister, isn't she cute? The next to her is her boyfriend. They're such a sweet couple, they go on dates every weekend. Apparently, she was pretty jealous of her big sister not too long ago. Aww, that's so cute! Do you get the feeling that a lot of people are looking at us? That's just proof of our success. That means we showed all of Eddie's fans how much of a couple we were. Okay, this is the final push. Let's go! Whoa! Come on, we have to do this now because once the show starts, everyone's eyes will be on the stage. So until then, let's put on a show of our own. Right. I can stay like this until the end of the concert, if you want. I couldn't answer. No, I didn't want to answer. Her doing this wasn't fair. Rena, maybe it didn't really mean anything. Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to the show tonight. Just like Rena said though, as soon as the lights dimmed, thousands of eyes turned toward the stage. The tension was palpable and Aerie shined as bright as all the stars in the night sky. The other girls dancing on stage felt like pale imitations compared to her. She was like the sun, eclipsing everything else around. And her heart was matched with the love and appreciation flowing from all of us in the audience. Ah, <sighs> my sister's the best! Did you ever think about becoming a pop star like her? Me? Nah, no way. Why do you say that? I don't have the same strength of character. You see how bright they're shining up there, right? Sure. You know how much effort goes into preparing a performance like that? Yeah, I can only imagine. And you have to be ready to deal with everything that comes your way for it, like 
that. It's not just effort. A lot of luck goes into it, too. And all those eyes are watching you. You saw what happened firsthand when she simply shared a table with you. Being seen next to a guy almost completely destroyed her career. I don't think I'd be able to handle that pressure. You know, I think I finally understand why you wanted to help your sister so bad. She was trying to protect her sister's light. You do? Yeah. Her challenge to me was over before it even started. Completely made a fan out of me. Hey, Yuki. Yeah? Maybe I don't have the mental fortitude in everything to become famous like Eddie. Yeah? But unlike her, I'm fine with just one person. What do you mean? You know, she has all these adoring fans and stuff. But I think for me, knowing that one person I love feels the same way about me is more than enough. Once again, I was too stunned to speak. She didn't mean what I think she meant, did she? Brina was the one who started all this in the first place. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Who do you like more, me or Eddie? You, of course. You didn't have to even think about it. You scolded me about this last time. You said I shouldn't compliment another girl when we were on a date. You're right, especially when you know your girlfriend is the jealous type. Exactly. And well, I think I really like you a lot too. As the two of us turned our attention back towards that glowing stage, she took my hand in hers. There's no way to reach the sun from Earth. But with Rena by my side, I know everything that I've ever want is within my grasp. I don't think I'll ever let go for the rest of my life. And I made up my mind to tell her just that as soon as the show was over. <laughs>